moving to New York despite Giants head coach Pat Shermer telling fans to slow your roll after Daniel Jones' perfect preseason debut. The calls for the rookie just got louder at training camp. The sixth overall pick went three for three in a red zone drill yesterday, while 38-year-old Eli Manning went 0 for 4. All right, Rob. Do the third best team in New York, the New York Giants, do they already have a quarterback controversy? There's no controversy. They, they've used, it's kid gloves with Eli. We saw what happened the last time that they tried to remove him as starter, which they should have, and, and all hell broke loose. You know, it was like the end of the world. And I get it. Eli, when you win two Super Bowls, anybody, I always say anybody can win one. When you win two Super Bowls and you're the MVP twice, and, and you made two iconic throws in two games, people are always going to love you. And don't forget, he beat the undefeated Patriots. He beat Tom Brady twice. Eli is a legend and will make it to the Hall of Fame all for those two games. Forget about his regular seasons. Forget about not making the playoffs all those other years. He'll make it to the Hall of Fame because of it. And so Daniel Jones, yes, nice. People look at it and be, that's the same crowd that was booing when they uh, drafted him, right, with the sixth <laughs> overall pick. Typical. So I always get that. Who's the most popular guy in the room? The backup quarterback. Just like the backup goalie in hockey, it's always the next guy who people can't wait to see until he gets in and he stinks. So I don't think there's a controversy. They'll let Eli play out this year unless he's just really bad or he gets hurt or for some reason they make a change. But I don't see there being a controversy. Mm. Eli will be the starting uh, quarterback. The whole season? Yep. That's, okay. Uh, have you looked at the schedule? Yep. Okay. Greg, I'll let you go before uh, I, I'm, I'm with you here, Rob. I don't think that there will be a quarterback controversy going into the season, and neither should there be. When you look at Daniel Jones, he's a rookie. Typically, what you want your rookie to do is sit and learn and absorb the game and learn from a guy like Eli Manning. With, with all the knowledge that he has, you alluded to all the success or, or the successes that he has had and the accomplishments, he can, he, ha he can add value to a Daniel Jones. And don't give me the preseason statistics. I don't care about the preseason statistics. Why don't I care about that? Because no one is playing in the preseason that will be playing in week one. And uh, against Daniel Jones, and you said something, Rob, that kind of tickles me. Everybody's in love with the backup quarterback until they're no longer yes. the backup quarterback. But there is a reason why he is the backup quarterback, because he hasn't proven himself that he can be a starter yet. And in this case, you're not going to come into New York with an Eli Manning who has done what he's done and even though he's on the way out and he's declining, and I think that they're, they definitely will move on, maybe even during the season, if he doesn't produce, you don't do that right now because you have time. Eli Manning gives you that time, gives you that option to then move to the next guy and then take your franchise in a different direction. So you're saying gives you that time. Uh, I'm telling you, Dave Gettleman, the GM of this team, does not have time. Uh, they got a quarterback there. This is a franchise that's proud. They've won Super Bowls, as you've said, and they've been very bad the last couple of years. Since that playoff run and the boat trip, the Odell Beckham, they have not been to the playoffs since then. You look at the schedule, guys. There's no way Eli Manning's finishing this season. There's but, just but, none. Wait, There's man. none. He now listen. He if, had a good year as a starter. Hold on, let me. He had a good. His numbers were better than Dak last year. Rob, go look across the board. DVOA completion percent. He was right there above Dak Prescott last year. But it's because they shrunk the offense and it was everything. Let's just dump it to Saquon Barkley for two yards and let him work. They have no receivers this year. They open against the Cowboys and Bills. There's a good chance they open 0 and 2. If they don't, if Eli can't beat Tampa and Washington early. I predict he'll be gone by week four, and Daniel Jones, the young kid from Duke who's got a lot to learn, will be the new quarterback. You're looking at a coach and a GM in New York where the pressure's going to be on. The Jets across town, they're going to be good. They've got Sam Darnold, who the Giants passed on. And if Eli stinks, combined with Daniel Jones looking good in the preseason and the Jets skyrocketing toward the playoffs, Eli Manning will not finish I, the season. I'm not season. buying that. Not, I'm just not, because they've had many opportunities to do that. They could have opened the competition if they really believed in Daniel Jones from day one, Greg. They could have said, this is open. We're open to well, whoever's a better player, and they didn't do it. Well, it's not that they don't believe in Daniel Jones, right. because obviously they, they drafted moved, him. They drafted him, and they moved up to get him. So it's, it's, they definitely believe in this young kid, but why rush 
what you have time. Eli, is he gives you time. How much time is predicated on how productive he is throughout the course of the season. But he does buy you time. You talk about them shrinking the offense down. No, I, I think Eli, for the first time in a long time, since really Tiki Barber, Ooh. he had a valuable option coming out of the backfield that can catch and do something with the ball in his hand in Saquon Barkley, a special, unique talent, which then also provides you even more time, but also plays into the role of a young Daniel Jones where you do have him come in and take over if Eli doesn't perform well, and he has that as his backup safety valve as well. So they have things. The pieces are starting to look a little better. They're not all, all the way there, but Eli is one of those staples in New York that they have obviously chosen to stick with, and he's the pillar of if, that team. If memory serves, Eli started as the backup. Was it to Kurt Warner? And I think Kurt Warner started, then Eli came in and was really bad as a rookie. You need to get your feet wet. Jared Goff, his first year, remember, he came in, number one overall pick, and he was atrocious with Jeff Fisher, who was here yesterday. Jared Goff, fine in year two. I don't see the point in waiting. If Daniel Jones is your guy, get him out there the moment Eli turns into a pumpkin. He's 38. Why don't you get you know, eight to ten games of Daniel Jones this year so he hits the ground running next year when you could fortify the offense and improve the receiver? I, I just think you're dealing with, you could do that with a lot of quarterbacks. He's a different animal. You just saw the reaction. The way They got to do it the right way because this guy elevated this franchise. And I'm telling you, people are not just going to accept you just dumping him or making him look bad because when they even tried to do the... Stop, stop the streak and do that. Man, the pushback was ridiculous, and they had to reverse... Well, that was two years ago. Yeah, they had yeah, to reverse... 36. No, but they, had, 38. but they had to reverse field. And all I'm saying is that day will come, but watch and see how graceful they do it. They won't just pull Eli out and make him the scapegoat. Yeah, they're not going to treat him like garbage. He did win two Super Bowls. All right, what's the number one revenge game on your NBA yeah. calendar? All right, the schedule's out. We will answer that next.